guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Gracie, and today I'm gonna to be answering all of your questions about me moving to Tampa in this drive with me. This video does have a sponsored message from Rocket Money, but more about them later in the video. Well, welcome back. I have a little bit of a long drive today, so I wanted to sit down and answer all of your questions and all of the things that I wanna tell you about my move to Tampa. I am so excited to officially be telling you that. It's been a long time coming since I've wanted to move to Tampa, like literally since March of this year, and it is now December, and I have finally moved in and I just love it so far. I have Sydney down the street. My boyfriend Austin is there. I have Ben who's a semester and see friend and a bunch of other friends that I've made and have had that live in Tampa, some sorority sisters, all kinds of stuff. So it already feels so much like home. So we're going to get on our way. I actually have to plug in the directions of where we're going to make sure that I am headed in the right direction. We've got 59 minutes until we get there. That's plenty of time to chit chat and talk about what's going on. First and foremost, where you guys are seated is in a position where I can glance over but I'm not exactly looking at the camera the entire time on my way down. My safety is my number one priority while driving especially because at some points I will be on the highway so I just didn't want you guys to worry and I felt like I needed to put that disclaimer out in the beginning. The number one question that I've been getting asked across all platforms is did I move in with my boyfriend Austin? I know it was a little confusing because we did live in Hawaii for a month together in a one bed one bath apartment but no I have my own one bed one bath apartment in Tampa. I explained this in an earlier vlog but Austin bought a condo but he also still had a lease that he couldn't really break and he can't really sublease so it worked out that I was looking for a place it had six months left on the lease so I said okay let me move in on that lease I took over the lease it was a furnished apartment or it still is furnished a little bit manly but that's fine we're making it a private dream house and so I live in his old apartment but by myself and he has his own condo so that's how that all kind of works so we don't live together but I do live in his old apartment because it made sense instead of him paying a mortgage and a rent and me paying a rent. I said it really doesn't matter for six months. Also, that'll give me time to figure out where I want to live in Tampa. If I want to be renting a house, buying a house. If I want to stay in that apartment complex or a new apartment complex, I just figured this was the best way for everyone to get what they wanted. Plus, it actually sped up my move-in time a lot because I wasn't sure where to even start looking and now I ha immediately had a place to go. So it just made it easier, seriously, for everyone. And I'm so grateful that it just kind of worked out that way. And I really do love the building. So I have no complaints at all, minus if you've seen the vlog. I do have no window in my bedroom, which is not ideal, but it's six months. You can do anything for six months. And again, grateful that everything just worked out the way it did. I've also been getting quite a lot of why Tampa's and I have so many reasons. First and foremost, Tampa reminds me a lot of West Palm Beach in the Palm Beach area. There's the intercoastal, there's the water, easy beach access, or you can go over to St. Pete and have beach access. It's tropical, it's beautiful, but there are so many more younger people there. When I'm in West Palm Beach, when I'm in Palm Beach, it's a ton of older people. I also just like never really found my community there because I didn't want to move back and stay in Palm Beach for a long time. Y'all know my storage unit just got moved out a year and a half later. It was supposed to be there for three months when actually I thought I was going to be moving to Nashville after the summer. And after the end of the summer, the travel opportunities didn't stop. My people at the time were all down in West Palm Beach, Florida. It just made sense to stay there, but you guys, and looking back and looking back to my camera roll, and maybe you couldn't see it behind the smile on my face, but I was miserable. I think a lot of you are now noticing like I'm getting my spark back. I just feel like I am where I belong. Whereas when I lived in West Palm Beach, like I had no idea what the heck I was doing. I never had plans. I never had people. I just honestly was miserable. And this time last year in a little bit of a state of depression, which is crazy because I don't think I really realized it at the time. I just kept thinking, oh, I'm miserable, I'm miserable, I'm miserable. Almost a year ago now, I went on my life changing trip where I realized I was in a relationship I didn't even want to be in. I wasn't happy where I was living. I knew I needed to make major life changes and that happened for me on that trip. Really just a lot of journaling and reflecting. It's just crazy how one journey completely changed my life this year, which is insane. And post college especially, I don't think I've ever felt like I belonged somewhere more than I do in Tampa. So I just love it there. It reminds me of home, but it's not. But because I have my people there, it is my new version of home. There are just so many things where I'm like, everything about moving there and and just the whole situation, it is exactly what I needed and I could not be more grateful to be living in Tampa. So yeah, I just love it. The weather's great, the people are awesome. So many things to do all the time. I can't wait to like really dive into everything there is to do in Tampa, Florida for you guys to see Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater. And we're really close to Disney. There's another reason why. If there's no traffic, Disney is an hour away. If there is traffic, it can be like an hour and a half, but an hour to get to Disney. Are you kidding me? I don't think anything could be more perfect. I can't wait to actually renew my annual pass. Currently 
definitely don't have the annual pass, I have to like repurchase it because from the period of September to probably the period of February, like I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go and I needed to renew at the end of September. And now I'm still like not really able to go over the next month. I'm super busy just with company, with a trip, everything that it just doesn't make sense to go right now, but I will be going to Disney and hopefully way more frequently because I'm much closer than I was at home. So that just makes my heart so happy. An hour is a day trip to Disney. Like I just, mm -hmm, that's where I wanna be. So obviously this video is about me moving to Tampa and letting you guys know all of the amazing things, but let me tell you one downside that has come out of it. I have gone from free rent to having to pay for rent in an apartment and that has been a big life change for me. I've been used to going on trips or doing other things and going, oh, it's my rent money as a joke. And now I have legit rent money. So it's like, uh oh, all of a sudden I've got money to spend there. So now knowing I need to save my money in a different way, that's where today's sponsor Rocket Money comes in. I have absolutely been loving using their app to help keep me on top of my expenses. Rocket Money is the app that you need to save more and manage your money better. Since I'm not used to that rent expense and putting money aside for it, I love using Rocket Money to set up a smart savings account. You can choose the amount and the frequency and Rocket Money will take money out of your account and deposit it into your savings automatically. You can withdraw from here anytime and this is a great way to start moving aside money for my rent. I've also used the Rocket Money app to help set a budget for myself to be able to budget out for groceries, trips, expenses like electrical and water bills. So what Rocket Money then does is they're able to analyze my spending habits and create a budget for me that actually will work. You can automatically monitor your spending by certain categories and I even have alerts set up for when I'm starting to get close or go over my budget. Actually adulting post-grad is hard but Rocket Money makes it easy so you guys can go to rocketmoney.com slash Gracie O'Connor or click the link in my description to get started for free. You can even unlock more features with premium but check the link in the description to check it all out. I would have to say that so far one of the best things about living in Tampa is being so close to so many of my friends. After you graduate college and you're in this weird post-grad transition, whether you've been out of college for a few months or in my case, a year and a half, you're still in this weird period of, I used to live down the hall with next door to right down the street from all of your best friends. There was always something going on. If you were part of an organization or a club, you met multiple times a week. Like you had this core group of people and experiences that you were consistently having in college. And then you go to this point where all of your friends move all over. Like maybe you and a couple of your friends have moved to the same city, but most likely you and your friends are totally split up across the country or your state or all of the above or people who are countries across now. And it's weird because then you have to reestablish a whole new friend group. And I can't wait to make a whole bunch of new friends now that I live in Tampa. But what I love is that I do have some near and dear older friends from my college experience, like my semester at sea, friends and people that you meet throughout college who are now in Tampa, who make it feel like home in that aspect where I feel like, okay, I don't need to completely start over with new friends. I do have some existing friends who already live in Tampa or in Sydney's case have just moved to Tampa. It makes the transition just a little bit easier, I think on everybody for her moving to a completely new state and for me a completely new city to already have at least one person where you know like, hey, let's go out and grab drinks or a charcuterie or have a girls night in together. Like I've at least got that one best friend. But more specifically, I'm talking girlfriends like you need that girlfriend time you can have a significant other that's great I love to spend time with Austin but knowing that I have Sydney there is just a whole other layer of protection and comfort plus like no offense to Austin but who's gonna go get their nails done with me <laughs> touching on that post-grad experience whether your experience looks like mine looks like going into a nine-to-five looks like going to grad school straight out of college anything like that it doesn't matter I feel like the feelings are all there still those who go to grad school directly after okay maybe you do stop that sense of community especially if you're still Still staying at the same school but I do think postgrad needs to be talked about a little bit more and I don't care that I'm a year and a half out of postgrad I still feel like I just graduated yesterday in certain aspects of my life where I just feel like your whole world gets turned upside down you go to school from the time that your parents can put you into school until the time that you're done graduating from college and even though I didn't go into a traditional job it still feels like I got dropped on my head after I graduated like I have still no idea what I'm doing turning into a 7-eleven because I absolutely need a cell Okay, we just have to 7-Eleven. Let me go get a Celsius and then we'll come back and keep chatting. Okay, people, I'm back with a Celsius. We're gonna have a brief Celsius chat in the car chat talk um, because look what I
what I found. I have been seeing these all over Instagram and I've yet to see them in person, so they're at a 7-Eleven. These are the Celsius Essentials. I picked Sparkling Blue Raspberry and Sparkling Strawberry Dragon Fruit as these two flavors. I'm so silly though because they're doing three for six dollars and I bought four of them and I ended up spending nine dollars, so I really should have looked at the signage better, but whatever. I bought these two to try them out, but I'm a little concerned because they've got 270 milligrams of caffeine in them, which is 70 milligrams more than what I'm used to, but we're holding on to these. Today is just not the day to be going caffeine overload, but I also got a wild berry oh, and a Fuji apple pear, and I'm feeling wild berry right now, so I'm gonna drink a wild berry to keep me up for the rest of the drive home. Cheers. Alrighty, here we go. So as much as I am forward thinking and like to think about the future, some of you guys do too, because once that you heard I had a six month lease, you're like, where on earth are you going after this? The plan is to be in Tampa. I see myself being in Tampa for a while. Where exactly I will be in Tampa is totally up for grabs. I don't know if it's gonna be a house or another apartment or even renting a house, buying a house. I'm not sure what. I just know that I'm for sure gonna be there. I've only really lived in Tampa for two weeks, so I'm still trying to figure out the area, so I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be. I'm in a great location right now and I really do love it so we'll see with what ends up happening I think my goal would be to buy a house but maybe not in this next year so maybe I would rent a house or somewhere for a year I love to host I want to have people over I am in a one bed one bath right now but the goal is to have at least two or three bedrooms so I could have a guest room and office that's kind of the goal and honestly some of the three bed houses that you can rent are cheaper than one bed one bath apartments it's crazy so the goal would be to live somewhere where I can host people but again I'm not really sure I think I I'd probably want to rent in an area that I think I want to buy in for a year just to see or maybe another six months but then I'd have to furnish it it's kind of complicated but I am figuring it out as I go along you guys every time I think I have a plan God has a better plan for me that was already illustrated in the fact that I was able to do this six month lease and move into where I am now so it's just still up for grabs up on the table anything can happen with where I'm gonna live next I won't be staying in the exact same apartment I know that for a fact especially just starting with the whole window thing but also just wanting my own furniture and wanting to try and start getting rid of my storage unit, all of those kinds of things. So I won't be in the same apartment. Where exactly I'll be, I'm not sure, but I will be bringing you guys along the journey no matter where it ends up being. Somewhere in Tampa, but not sure where. Mm, mm, that Celsius is good. I'm actually currently on the way to my parents' house and I cannot wait to hop on their Peloton treadmill and get a workout in, let me just tell you right now. With living in the apartment building that I'm in, actually has a gym, which is so nice. I love that it's so convenient. I don't even have to get in my car or go anywhere. I've seen in my previous vlog, obviously my apartment complex has a parking garage. That's how most of them are. The last place I lived that I had to park in a parking garage for was when I lived in the Pi Fi house and we parked in the parking garage. Well, let me just tell you, those were angled parking spots that you kind of go in like a V. Well, where I live now, I have to back into the parking spot. So it has been a struggle. Where was I going with that? Where was I going with that? Okay, well, I have to back into my parking spot. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to say where that was going. Now, in case you haven't seen other videos, I still have been getting a ton of questions about travel and everything like that. I do still plan to travel. It probably won't be as frequently and the trips won't be as long. Here's the thing, I've had an incredible year of travel, 31 countries and I believe 13 states this year alone, but it has been a lot on my body, on my mind, on my relationships, honestly. Like I can't wait to just have like in-person relationships with people continuing. And financially, obviously travel is a big financial burden. I'm grateful to work with some travel companies, but if I really have to think about it, most of the travel this year I did pay for so finance wise it is a lot and obviously like I said I do have my rent to pay and everything like that so it will be slowing down a bit I have two trips that have already been booked for quite a bit of time in the next six months so those two things will be happening the first is kept under wraps and for multiple reasons including the people who are going so I'm just gonna say that I have a trip in January that I'm really excited for and then also me and some of my semester at sea girlfriends are going to stagecoach in April so if you're going I've never been I'm excited and then my cousin is getting married in August we haven't booked that but I'm definitely wanting to go to her wedding so that will be another trip but in the meantime while other things haven't been booked yet that's not to say that there won't be trips popping in I'm trying not to plan out my schedule so far in advance like I have been doing I remember having a friend texting me in July being like hey I want to do something with you in October and I'm like yeah I'm so sorry I'm booked up for
for the rest of the year. For the rest of the year. Like at that point, I truly was booked up for the rest of the year. So I'm trying not to do that to myself for 2024. Like I said, we'll see if I come up with ideas, if I see cheap flights, if I want to go do things. I really want to explore South America next year. We'll see if that ends up happening. But I got a little taste of Colombia on a cruise that I was on. And there's so many things I want to do in South America. So I think that that could be really cool, especially staying on the same time zone for work purposes for Austin, trying to convince him to come on some trips with me. We'll see. That's the other thing is finding somebody really to go with. Of course, they always have my mom, which is fun. We love our girls' trips. Our three-week Asia trip was seriously one of the best things ever. But I also do want to bring Austin on adventures. But of course, we've both got work to do and different things. But if I could figure out how to coordinate it in, I would love that. So the travel will slow down a bit, but hopefully that doesn't mean forever and always. And especially if cool opportunities come by, you guys know that I'm there. So right now, I'm just trying not to plan so far in advance that I can't do last-minute things that friends ask but also trying to get some trips in. So hopefully that answers your questions about travel. They won't be completely eliminated from this page, so don't worry about that. But it will be slowing down just a bit as compared to this past year. And just like that, I am home and ready to go hug some people that I love. So hopefully I answered most of your Tampa questions. I love them. If you have anything else, especially something that's quick to ask, I will try and answer them in the comment section down below. If not, I can address it in a later video and I will let you guys know. Just know I am so good. I'm so happy. I know that I'm exactly where I'm meant to be in Tampa and I just can't wait for all of the adventures to come and to bring you guys along and just to really explore my new city along with you guys so thank you for all of your love and support on the move to Tampa you guys are going to love it there with me if nobody has told you today I am so proud of you I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye